Well, this is interesting. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here. Today, this is a strange, very odd, first time case of TikTok made me buy it. Yes, the infamous new school app, as I like to call it, TikTok. It is the new it girl and things blow up over there and it makes us sell out. And it's very fascinating. And we're gonna talk about it today, but in particular, in relation to the fragrance community, cause that's what we are a part of here else. I know we all are here. They made a particular fragrance blow up and this is from the house of Narciso Rodriguez and this is the Musk Noir Rose fragrance and that is what we're going to talk about today and how do we get here to this point of virality and yeah why your girl ended up buying it too <laughs> we're gonna talk about it today but before we do that elves you know what we must do first lipstick of the day today everyone we went with a mac lipstick this is a newer shade this is come over it's a nudie pink type of color get into it for the look today it'll be linked in the description box as always again that is mac come over is your lipstick of the day next up we have fragrance of the day i'm keeping it chill but i still want it to smell rather luxe because that's what we do here and we went with with good old MFK Baccarat Rouge 540 EDP, AKA the original. Now this is one of the original hype girls in the fragrance community. So it was only right to wear in this type of video. So again, MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540 EDP is your fragrance of the day. Since we're on a topic of TikTok and things that went viral, this one actually went viral for a negative reason, but I'm wearing it today. It's a makeup moment. And this is the new L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. Yes, I am wearing it. Get to it. I will say, I like it. Despite all the drama that's attached to it, if you know, you know it's being called Mascara Gate on TikTok. <laughs> but I do like this. It's nice. Come on, drugstore. Again, the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. All right, so now let's get into how we got here with this fragrance, Narciso Rodriguez Must Noir Rose, and why it blew up. So I did a little research because, yes, I am on TikTok because I was nosy and I do enjoy it in a weird way. Not as much as YouTube, but it has its reasons, it has its moments. It's very interesting over there. So, this fragrance actually blew up on TikTok in December of 2022. So, literally right before Christmas. So like mid-December, a girl asked this random like Parisian girl, what are you wearing? She had the whole bottle, pulled it out and it became a whole thing. Next thing you know, you all, it began to sell out on all platforms from your department stores to your discounters, just everywhere in between, by the way. Oh man, I might add, this fragrance is not new. It's not a new fragrance per se, new-ish, but it's not brand new. <laughs> but alas, I noticed a trend that this was popping up. The girls were talking about this fragrance and I was like, okay, this is a new, I've seen it. I haven't smelled this one i smelled the musk noir the one that came out before and i didn't like that one but the rose one i hadn't smelled i was like hmm Okay, and I don't own anything from Narciso Rodriguez, so I was very intrigued, and I'm like, okay, there must be something here because it's selling out. And I went looking for it, and lo and behold, it was sold out. But then, with a strange fate of lovely day, a little bit of luck, Nordstrom had it in stock, and they had my preferred size of fragrances, which the elves, you know, which is a 50 mil, and they had the 50 mil size in stock, you all. I didn't even think about it. I said, you know, I'm buying this. I'm buying this because I'm glad I did, because lo and behold, I woke up the next day and it was sold out on Nordstrom too. I was like, see, don't worry elves. I do have it linked in a description box where it is in stock and where you can get it if you are interested in this fragrance. So I got y'all just, you know, check the description box where everything is always linked. So back to like I was saying y'all, this fragrance is not new. It actually came out at the beginning of 2022. So January 2022 to be exact. And that's the weird thing about TikTok. They will hype things up over there. You would swear if you listen to them, which unfortunately no shade is Gen Z, the younger kids. I'm a millennial. I can say it, but they hype stuff up like it's the best thing since sliced bread and they be swearing it's so new it's it you be like girl this is old this is not new they give things a new life or renaissance per se that's the best way to describe tiktok they will hype some of this been out for years but they will swear oh it's new it's brand new oh my god i love this i love this so it's like okay <laughs> okay but all right i was like okay let's see what the kids are talking about <laughs> I got intrigued, like I say, it sold out, I ordered it, and here we are. So let's get into the fragrance. Here is the box. Yes, like I said, I picked it up from Nordstrom.com, ordered it, and it showed up in about roughly three days, so. Hey, we love dealing with Nordstrom. Must Noir Rose for her, Eau de Parfums, the 1.6 ounce size, and what you all care about, 
here is the fragrance right here which i like it 100 ml size bottle looks the same as this one so literally it's just shorter so no difference in presentation depending on what size you purchase we're gonna talk about this i have worn this a few times so i can get some thoughts on it but for the sake of reacquainting myself with this fragrance we're gonna spray it on our trusty fragrance strip like we always do and yeah I'm gonna let that sit, let that dry down, and then we're gonna get into the notes of this fragrance. Amongst my research, because I did look this up first and look up the notes because I wasn't just gonna buy it just to be buying it. It had to make some type of sense. Just saying, try to be a little bit more responsible in 2023. So with the notes, we have top note is plum. That sold me right there because you all know I love a good plum note in a fragrance because plum isn't as prevalent as I would like. So anyway, top notes are plum, pink pepper, and bergamot. Middle notes are musk, rose, tuberose, and base note is vanilla. So I said, okay. People always hype up the musk when it comes to Narciso Rodriguez. And I was like, okay, I like a good musk here and there. So I was intrigued by this fragrance. Now let's talk about what the fragrance actually gave me. This does have a vintage feel with the opening and it is a tuberose note. It's the tuberose. So if you don't like tuberose, stay away from this. But once that goes away, you get that juicy plum and that's what I'm here for. Just say yes. Mm, I'm glad it didn't take long for the plum to shine through because that's the reason I was like, okay, I'm willing to do this. Gonna be real mad if I don't get no plum, but I do get that juicy plum and it's sweet. I like this. But it's blended with that tuberose, which I am a tuberose lover, but I recognize again, tuberose is challenging for a lot of people. So I can see how if you're not used to it, you might be like, ooh, what did I just buy? I definitely get the musk. And I get a little bit of the rose. The vanilla, I don't get until it dries down, which more so I get the vanilla when I wear it on my skin. Hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a designer fragrance, I might add, and price point wise wasn't too ridiculous. Just for a point of reference, the 1.6 ounce or 50 ml size that I picked up, this was $100 and some change. And the 100 ml size I saw retails for $138. So not too, too ridiculous, still on par with traditional designer prices. Then like I said, you can find them at discounters. Well, back when it was in stock, it's not in stock right now, but you can find it at your major stores and things. So you can possibly catch a deal on it. Although right now, now, waiting for a deal might not be the best bet because this keeps selling out. It's really fascinating. The thing with this fragrance too, it takes you on a journey as it dries down and it's very complex. To be a designer fragrance, it exceeded my expectations. I really thought this was gonna be sweet bubblegum water, especially with the color of the juice being this pinkish type of color. We all know everybody's trying to bite off a Donna Born aroma. Yes, I'm looking at you, Prada Paradox. Everybody's trying to bite off of that whole sweet, vanilla, fruity um, DNA, that's a hype thing right now. But this isn't quite that. I gotta give it that. This is more complex. The notes definitely develop over time and this fragrance takes you on a journey. So I'm impressed. This could honestly been a niche fragrance. If you told me this was safe from a niche brand, what have you, I would have believed you because this isn't your basic designer scent. This is really good. Let's talk about um, longevity in this fragrance. Now, this is one I've heard very mixed reviews on and I can see why. This one is very moderate. I get about a solid three to four hours out of this fragrance in my time of wearing this one. It's cute. And I will say it's most of the three to four hours is on the skin, but it does last a little bit longer on your clothes. Like for example, I wore this to date night and I can still smell it on my sweater the next day. So it doesn't completely disappear. It's just, it hooks fabric more than it hooks the skin. So I gotta say that about this fragrance. Now this is the other thing that came up and some of the L's have asked me this once you all saw my unboxing short or reel on it, depending on which platform you are. People have asked, and I've seen this comparison made, is this very similar to BDK's Passe Soir? Which I love BDK's Passe Soir. You all know I have the bottle of it right here so you know it is real. And let me say this, the dry down in Musk Noir Rose it is absolutely related to this. Is it a dupe? No, it is not a dupe. But are they related? Yes. It is a very similar dry down. The Must Noir Rose is a very similar dry down to Passe Square. And I absolutely love Passe Square. And when I was smelling this, when I first unboxed it, was just taking it all in. As it dried down at about five to 10 minutes, I smelled it. The tuberose and all the initial notes and whatnot went away. But then I started to get Passe Square and I immediately said, this is giving me Passe Square. I like this. So for me, as it dried down, I fell in love with it even more. I think this fragrance is absolutely worth the hype. 
I gotta give TikTok its props, y'all. They got this one right. This fragrance is worth the hype. This isn't very um, generic. It's not very typical what you always expect. I would not have expected this type of profile to blow up on that platform considering the demographic on it, just being honest, because this is a more mature fragrance. It, it really is. And I think this is amazing as a romantic scent. I think it's amazing as a date night scent. Very feminine, very classy, but still, you like you stepping out. This isn't necessarily I'm aware to work type of fragrance. This is I'm going out, particularly with my man. I would wear this for that, which in fact, I did do that. I wore it out with the head elf. So I think this is an amazing fragrance. It's good and it's all right. TikTok or not, don't get me wrong, but that's how it blew up. So I gotta give props where it's due, where I saw it, it was on TikTok. So I said, okay, let's see, I'm gonna buy it. Technically a blind buy, but I'm like, oh, we'll see. But I'm happy with it. This was not a blind buy fail. This was a blind buy win. So I think this fragrance is absolutely worth the hype. TikTok, okay. We'll be friends. I'll keep watching you to see what else you got to bring for me. I've seen other fragrances blow up on there. Some I agree with, some I don't. But in this case, Musk Noir Rose deserve to be hyped up. It is fantastic. So that is my opinion of this fragrance. I think it's beautiful. I think it is legit. I'm here for it. Not just a hype train video just to get on it. I think it actually is good. It's, it's worth the money. I think it's good. So Els, have you smelled this fragrance? Do you already own it? Because again, Musk Noir Rose isn't a new fragrance. I know some people already have it. It's in a fragrance community people already knew about it but now the general population per se is getting a hold of it so that's like the best way to put this <laughs> so let me know what you think about this fragrance do you think it, do you think it's amazing do you hate it do you think it's overhyped talk to me in the comments below because else y'all are opinionated and it tickles me so much and i love hearing from y'all <laughs> so as always i will catch y'all in the next video bye else.